Welcome to this short video on a new functionality in 2D Rerun. Quite a lot has happened uh, the last months and uh, the ones of you who are uh, not in here every day would maybe like to be able to use the new functionality. The first I'm looking at is the pos possibility to uh, draw root choice options. Let's just uh, open a training here from uh, the EOC area. Um, now, by clicking 7, the annotation mode, you can go first to the point annotation, then to the segment annotation, and the mode we are looking at now is the new root annotation. Uh, here you can take a root, for example, uh, a leg, for example, the one from 8 to 9, and uh, look at how long the different root choice options are. So if you just start clicking with the left mouse button here, you can see that we get the length of uh, of the root choice when we draw the root choice around here. So uh, one choice on this particular leg is to take the, the path all the way around and, uh, and into the control. To stop the, the root, we press Alt and the left mouse button and uh, then we can choose a color and we can also put on a comment for example how much uh, uphill running it is on the leg but for now we just take it like this then we can uh, draw other uh, options um, up here for example this is probably not the winning root choice on uh, on this particular leg but still it illustrates uh, the possibilities uh, we, we have here. We can take uh, a more uh, direct option without any, any paths. Uh, make that green and uh, I guess you, you get the idea. So uh, this was the sample root measurement. The uh, next example I want to look at is the possibility to draw your own course. Then you go to draw course here and uh, you can draw your own course. Ah. You could if I just quit the uh, annotation mode which we can do here. Now I can draw my own course like this. Uh, this can also be useful in the pre-race planning and uh, if we go into the annotation mode again uh, we can also uh, look at the different uh, routes for, uh, for this case. not the most interesting uh, leg here. Okay, so that were two new possibilities. Next uh, on my list is uh, to look at distinct routes. Then I have uh, a silver league competition here, which I've already, uh, already found. Let's just open them in uh, 2D rerun. takes a little bit of time here we are now uh, in this competition there was in, an interesting long leg from number 23 to 24 let's go to the split analysis mode click at 23 click at 24 and uh, the usual way to analyze this has been to do a color by time and look at the different options now uh, it's kind of confusing and it's not very easy to get a full overview. So if you click on variants now, uh, the program looks at the different variants and groups them. Uh, with the standard settings, I guess uh, variants are uh, defined for short legs. For long legs like this, we, uh, we will have to do a change in the definition of what a distinct root choice is. First it has to, to do some um, calculations, here we are. So you see 
there are many many different groups so if we go to the settings here and uh, go down to uh, distinct route choices and say that we want them to be say 100 meters apart for at least 50 percent of the route i'm sure we'll get uh, quite uh, a different uh, result here maybe only five or six uh, groups here you see there are uh, five different variants uh, the variant of uh, Bergman going here which is the fastest which have quite a few uh, runners then we have the northern of uh, Johansson with uh, three runners variant 3 here of uh, Dahlgren with, with four runners and to look a bit closer on, on the grouping here we can click on variant 1 and see all which are together here there are there are some differences because of the, the criteria we have uh, put in. Then we have uh, variant 2 to the north, variant 3 in the middle, variant 4 which could maybe have been part of variant 1 and variant 5 all the way around here with with uh, theory. So uh, this is very easy to, to set up. We can uh, do the same for uh, 5 to 6. Again look at the variants. Uh, we get only three variants here, and uh, the fastest one is, uh, is the direct route. Then we have uh, the left route, which is uh, somewhat slower, and uh, Matthias Karlsson, who uh, probably could have been in this, but it's due to the calculations, he gets uh, a separate variant. We can show all variants again, again here, and we can change the coloring as we as we want okay then uh, we also have some uh, news with uh, the auto analysis uh, let's take a look at um, an auto analysis from the start to uh, for example control number uh, eight like this um, then let's uh, first look at all runners and uh, we take the best runner along with one of the, the slow runners down here and um, we can uh, calculate the auto analysis and uh, we see a lot of, uh, of pluses and uh, as we see down here now he is actually faster on the places where they run the same route and loses nearly five minutes on uh, on route choices based on how the same route is defined in uh, in in the settings so now we can adjust the comparison by uh, all of the route to see relatively where Carlson loses most to to Anderson and then we see that uh, the relative biggest time loss is on this long leg and uh, in this area where there is uh, a mistake on the on the control so this is more useful on uh, a middle distance where there are not so many different uh, route choices so uh, let's open another uh, event here the, um, the middle distance uh, race again let's uh, take a look at one uh, good runner and one runner who is uh, further behind that is uh, Jojo and uh, the last runner on the on the list here yeah we'll have to take it from the first control calculate auto, auto analysis and as we see there are uh, lots of pluses all the way so it's not very easy to make the analysis here but now if we uh, look at uh, adjust it to the speed where they have chosen the same route that is all the place where Thierry and Matthäus has uh, the same route uh, it should be approximately zero losses so then we can see that relatively there is a loss around control 2 
there is a lot of, of time loss on uh, on this leg where there is a real mistake on uh, the long leg where it looked like there was a big time loss uh, relatively actually uh, he is faster by going down on, on, on this route and again here there is a big time loss here the speed relatively seen is uh, is the same and and also uh, so here so this is a good uh, analysis mode if you want to compare yourself with uh, a runner who is a lot better or a lot worse than than yourself this is often the case in in smaller trainings where there are only five six runners from from your club and uh, it's difficult to find somebody who is on the same level as uh, as yourself Okay, so uh, that was the uh, auto analysis. Uh, one more thing, actually, we can also look at what the program defines as same and, and different. So you see, it's only these legs here where it is defined as the same route, because here it's more than 10 meter apart for some of the leg, which is uh, defined as uh, the default. If we go into the, the settings again, there is a possibility to to change this now uh, here so we can define distance apart as 20 meter instead of 10 meters if we do a new auto analysis now you see that all of this is now defined as the same route also here and here so it's maybe closer to what uh, you would define as the same route if you don't want to look at differences in micro route choices so if we again look at uh, this which we looked at earlier uh, it's, it's still close to what we, uh, what we had the same relative speed here in, in this area okay then I want to just briefly look at this uh, new course analysis mode so let's just uh, draw a course here along the old course seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen here we are now it's also possible by holding shift to move the control so the control is in the right place can be uh, useful in some cases if you do mistakes. Then we go over to the analyze course mode. And the good thing here is that you can now always click between two uh, two controls and you get the routes here. So it's much easier to to do a, a course analysis. Very fast. Also you can uh, course color by time and you can show all runners and so on like uh, just the usual way um, now a usual problem here when you do an analysis in uh, in a course with a lot of short legs is that the GPS times are not completely correct so let's look at uh, only Galusel here if we now click on his name you get up uh, the splits uh, and here you can go in and, and actually change the split so we can change the, the second split to uh, 126 if that was the correct one and uh, then it says 126 here of course then we have an adjustment uh, all the way um, so uh, later on I hope I will be able to do some import of, of splits from uh, from somewhere for now you have to uh, write it from your your splits either from your watch or uh, from the, um, the splits list or paste it in from, from somewhere on the internet so that was the new analysis uh, mode then I think we have been uh, been true most except maybe uh, the, the tagging mode we have been true part of the tagging but uh, we have the annotation of, of points. Now we can annotate any point on the course of uh, Fiat Calusel, for example, and say 
this is on a fast root choice, for example. And in this way we can uh, put on a lot of comments. I'll go back to the split analysis. Uh, and also we can uh, put on any comment on uh, on the course of, uh, of theory here. Uh, inside the green and so on. This is a very good way to, to give comments to uh, to one of the athletes you are coaching, if you're a coach, for example. Uh, if you click the seven once more, you can annotate uh, segments. So then we can annotate from this point to uh, this point on the route, for example. Uh, the good thing here is uh, path running. We can uh, call this path and you get the kilometer time 322 per kilometer and the length 964. Uh, you can also, if we just look at all of the route of, uh, of Jekyll Lissell by uh, clicking the zero, uh, we can find other places where he runs uh, on a path uh, not too many actually but for example from uh, here to here looks to be path running and can define it as, as path we can also find some other areas which are uh, in, in flat white forest or not too many of those uh, either but just let us mark an area here call it uh, white forest and a new type white forest um, this also for example white forest yeah, that's it for him and let's do the same now with uh, Thierry he uh, has some path running uh, here and uh, he has some white forest for example uh, yeah that was uh, too steep I guess uh, let's take this part call it white forest as well and uh, maybe uh, this part now let's show both of them Jerka and, uh, and Thierry just give them some uh, different colors now using uh, the key four here now we can get an overview of the uh, sum of all the path running of Jekyll Lissell and the sum of all the path running for Thierry Giraud and you see speed difference here now I didn't do a very careful analysis but uh, you could do if you are, are careful also a white forest you see the same you can sort by uh, by time you can sort by uh, by category you can sort by runner that was the the four and with the five you get all the, the annotated areas so you get uh, category time from start length from start segment time and so on also comments if you put on some comments so uh, this is functionality which can be used for a lot of different things uh, your fantasy sets uh, the uh, the borders so uh, please let me know if you have some interesting uh, applications here and as always you can save your work with uh, the uh, the s to save the analysis okay one uh, small extra thing to to show you that is the the color by pace Let's uh, take away the tagging by clicking uh, 6 here. Then we can uh, use the key number 3 
to color by by split so we can see the uh, the speed and where the runners have slower speed uh, this can also be um, be changed in the settings so uh, you can do the two and and change the settings for color by pace so we get red color when it's over six for example so now you see much easier where it where it's slow and where it's uh, it's fast uh, okay uh, we also have the possibility to make the map less visible with eight and nine uh, we also now i take away the colors here we also now have a possibility to to look at the time in and out of the control if we look at uh, i have to take off the tagging mode Uh, if we look at the control from 5 to 6 and uh, press the key E here then you get the time for, for the first 50 meters out of the control and the last 50 meters into the control and you see uh, approximately the same time out but Jäger is faster into the control and also here you can look at different splits of course from here to uh, to here and so on now we have the tags on so we'll just turn off the tags again Jerker is uh, faster out Thierry is faster into the control uh, in the settings you can uh, you can change the uh, definition of uh, how far you should look now it's 50 meters you can instead look at for example uh, 80 meters and you see it's it's recalculated on the fly um, we also have the the splits table i plan to put in some in and out of control here uh, later on for now it's only a very simple splits table okay I think that was it for uh, for now as always I am uh, happy to get uh, get tips thank you to uh, Kenneth book for uh, for the tip with um, distinct root choices Eva Jurenikova for the um, tip with uh, different uh, with drawing the root choices and getting the the length of the root choices uh, and to Sindre Havasta for a tip regarding how a click on the map is, is handled now only runners who are within a certain distance about 100 meters are, are shown in the root analysis so thanks a lot for uh, for following that's it for now <laughs>